have actually confirmed that vibrational frequencies can actually transform you. And this is, this is going to roll into um, health and wellness. So vibrational frequencies can actually transform you. ConsciousLifeNews.com released an article about sound healing and um, the practices that are used in audio tones that actually work with um, certain illnesses and diseases. So basically what they had mentioned is that um, sound healing, the audio tones and vibrational frequencies repair damaged tissues and cells within the body. It works on the bias that all matter is vibrating at specific frequencies. We, we know that. We are vibrational beings and everything does have a vibrational frequency. Um, again, remember we talked about like this pen vibrates at a specific frequency and this paper vibrates at a specific frequency and that's why they're different. You know, and with humans, we can also change our vibrational frequency. Our emotions, you know, when we're upset, goes down. When we're, we're happy, they go up. So what they're seeing is that specific um, illnesses and diseases, such as depression, um, stress, and um, even some autoimmune disorders, that those, um, those illnesses also uh, cause humans to vibrate at a lower frequency. So that's why we have pain or depression or, which are, you know, not feeling good. They, they actually cause, us de they, depre they depress um, our vibration to a lower frequency. And so illnesses happen when we're actually vibrating at that certain frequency. And think about this again, that things vibrate at a different frequency. This is vibrating at one frequency and so is this. So if this were to change a certain degree, I don't know what it would change into, but if it would change at a certain degree, it would become a different something you know, a different piece a different things same with this so what happens with us when our vibrational frequency changes it lowers the numbers change and so does our um our cellular um component in our body so um things change we can get sick um and and this study actually talks about how when we change our vibrational frequency to a higher frequency it actually helps healing um, by raising that frequency and removing some of those elements that are causing you pain and uh, ailment. And some of the things I talked about were um, things like Tibetan singing bowls, tuning forks, drum therapy, and even chanting um, is something that has been used in um, sound therapy he healing. And let me just, let's talk about that because, you know, our DNA, our cells die and, 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 and reproduce all the time. The, the DNA kind of sheds um, in a sort of sense in mitosis where it actually um, you know, copies itself and um, creates new cells. And the, you know, the, even there's like a, a, a proofreading process where that if there's something wrong with it, uh, you know, the, the DNA get, actually gets scanned to make sure it's healthy. And if it's not, healthy, it'll try and repair it, but if it's unrepairable, then it'll just keep on um, replicating, and that's bad, because then that bad cell will keep replicating, and that's what actually causes illnesses. What this is saying that um, certain things like radiation, um, you know, from the sun, or whether it be from um, x-rays, or what, some, some type of x-ray machine, that too much, obviously, can cause you to be ill. But you know what the crazy thing is, is that at a certain level of the radiation, it's actually helpful because we see that we, people like cancer, they have radiation therapy to actually shrink the tumor. But the crazy thing is, is that it, with a certain amount or higher level of that radiation, it could actually cause cancer and make you sick. It's all about that balance, that frequency, that getting that right frequency to whether it be good or bad, that, that harmony, that zone. Um, and the frequency, like I mentioned, is actually the number of complete oscillations or how many times it repeats or vibrates. So for instance, if the um, radiation frequency, this is just an example, I don't know if this is the real number, but let's say for instance, the radiation frequency um, number to zap cancer cells is, I don't know, let's say 152. I don't know if that's the right number, so please don't quote me. And then let's say the radiation level in order where it's actually damaging, let's say is 1,000. The frequency is how many times it actually repeats or vibrates. So how strong that radiation um, charge is.
Well, our voice, sound, music, those all vibrate too. We vibrate, sound vibrates, or everything, all that, that vibrates as well. And this is what the, where we get into that frequency vibration healing because think about this. When you say a specific word, for instance, a negative word like, um, I don't like you, or I like you. Like, the words themselves don't necessarily have true meaning, even though I know that the re they do have meaning, the words. But it's the actual vibration frequency that's, pr that's being projected from those words. So it's the breath, the energy that's coming up from within you saying those words or whomever it is that's saying those words that are actually having the effect that that's that vibration or frequency. It's not the words, it's how it's being said. It's that tone. I mean, think about it when you're listening to like a heavy metal rock song and it's really loud. I mean, it's, it's going to make you like, or it's going to make you like, you know, it's going to, depending on if you like it or not. You know, we know that when we hear certain types of music that it's, it does something to us. It, it either connects with us or it just disconnects us. I don't know if you've ever heard of Dr. Emoto, who is a Japanese researcher um, that has actually stunned the world with the release of his book, Messengers from Water where he actually does an experiment to test the effects of spoken words and music on water molecules. He placed several bottles of purified water next to each other and exposed each of the bottles to different words, music, or pictures. So the words range from like, I love you, to you make me sick. And um, also there were some where they listened to heavy metal music and some listening to Mozart. Um, and the results were astonishing. The, all the samples had been exposed to positive words and relaxing music formed beautifully, some intricate patterns and symmetrical ge uh, geometric shapes. And the ones that actually were like listening to heavy metal music or that were with negative words like you make me sick actually had a not so uh, intentional shape. So what I mean by that, one was a beautiful star, you look at a beautiful snowflake, and the other one look, you know, the, the ones with the negative information actually looked kind of dark and disconnected. If you get a chance, look that up on YouTube, um, Dr. Emoto, and you'll, you'll, you should get a bunch of results that actually show you some people that have actually done the experiment themselves and his as well. You know, we are 70% of water, and our health and well-being are also affected by you know, stimuli by sound and vibration. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of som somatics and sacred geometry. You know, somatics um, is the visible representation of sound, and its study has been documented for as far back as the 1600s um, by Galileo that when, or I shouldn't say when, but the Eugenics experiment was basically um, placing some powder or some like crystal objects on a flat surface and connecting it to an amplifier and turning it on certain um, vibrational frequencies which actually vibrated the plate and created those same shapes that we're seeing in the water. Um, if you look up somatics um, online, YouTube, wherever you'll find it and there'll be some really, really cool um, examples of some people, either in like bands that are connected to a, a plate that the vibration goes through and you can actually see the music itself in, with your eyes. Like the music sounds actually creating shapes and figures. So think about it. We are 70% water. Those sounds are vibrating in, in, in our body. And our, again, our cells and our DNA are replicate, dying and replicating. And what kind of, what is it doing to our DNA? What is it doing to our cells? I mean, that's pretty creepy. But I mean, it's, it's really true. Um, maybe check them out. You won't be disappointed. Seriously, when you check out somatics, you're going to be amazed. But researchers actually show in the UK that the sound wave therapy successfully cured 90% of male patients that were suffering from prostate cancer, and it did so without any harmful effects whatsoever. Um, Dr. Hashim Ahmed, who led this study at University College London, um, stated that we are optimistic that men diagnosed with prostate cancer may soon be able to undergo a day case surgical procedure which can safely be repeated once or twice to treat their condition with very few side effects. 
Again, words and sounds are much more than just a method of communication. They are tangible forces that have a direct effect on our health and well-being. And exposing the internal organs in the brain to different musical frequencies will encourage them to heal from within. And again, raise your vibrational frequency, promoting your health from being, you know, sad or upset to ecstatic and happy. Now, I do have to say that maybe all this stuff I said to you doesn't make sense. All these numbers, all these researches, all this support, all this scientific study. So I want to share with you that I am a big, firm believer in, uh, in uh, sound therapy and vibrational frequencies because I myself, I use them, I've used them in the past, those are the things that actually helped me be who I am today. I use them still today, you know, because I know being a human being that, you know, we, we aren't in charge of the world and we don't have control over everything, so things are gonna happen to us, they're gonna rattle us, they're gonna shake us, they're gonna surprise us, they're gonna make us sad, they're gonna do those things. And it's not easy to just say, oh, I'm okay now, everything's fine. You know, sometimes we need help in bringing ourselves or centering ourselves back to a decent level. And, you know, sometimes people do meditation. That's fine. You know, meditation is great. Whatever it is that you need to do to get yourself present and conscious and mindful of where you are and not let your feelings and emotions and other things uh, bother you. But getting into a frequency, grabbing a frequency and, and piggybacking off of that, basically allowing it to just bring you back to that place is, is truly amazing. It really works. I believe it 100%. And, um, you know, look up the uh, frequency 528, which is the love frequency, love frequency, the highest vibration possible. It's a great one to start off with, even just to have in the background. It, it mentally makes you feel good. It makes you peace. And according to these studies, certain frequencies actually do other things too internally with your organs. And that is awesome. So if you want to read more about the study, go to uh, clinicaltrials.gov and um, it'll actually show you... Uh, actually search for the effects of music therapy in Huntington's disease, which is the actual study that this article is talking about. But the, one of the interesting things that part of the medical subject headings included central nervous uh, system diseases, movement disorders, uh, genetic diseases, uh, dementia, cognitive disorders, uh, mental disorders, you know, things, that, you know, things that are calming your mind, things that... Um, you know, all, all mental or all emotional. You know, there's other things as well. Like I said, this this research talks about a lot of physical things. Um, so again, go to clinicaltrials.gov and look up sound therapy and you'll get a plethora of information. Also, if you want to find out more regarding how you can do some, be a part of these studies, go to musictherapy.org. Uh, 